this free electron theory so we have seen that wittmann french law okay we were discussing wittmann french law okay so when we are using this classical free electron theory classical free electron theory and that is also we called durde theory okay so that time we have seen that our expression for sigma t okay this comes out is equal to kb upon e square okay kb upon e square 1 by 3 and it is we called lorentz number this is also called wittmann wittmann uh, french law okay so this was 3 by 2 sorry 3 by 2 okay and we have seen is this constant value is equal to 1.12 okay the constant value is if you solve this one constant value is 1.12 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay omega okay what omega k inverse and i told you that this value is uh, two times less is the half of the actual value okay and now so far now we have calculated the correct expression for specific heat so now we can uh, uh, write the correct expression for thermal conductivity electric conductivity also we have seen okay we can modify this little bit and we can see the actual values okay uh, how what are the uh, uh, deviation we can remove we yeah. can we ha ah, boliye that is what sir k by c r tau which one k by k by sigma t nothing sir k b by 3 by 2 no it is only 3 by 2 kb upon e square na no? this constant yeah. check your copy okay last time what we done so this was the constant t t is here na no? t i brought in the ratio na no? so so k by k by sigma is proportional to temperature na no? okay now this was the now let us do the correct value okay we see the what are the correct values okay so now we know the thermal conductivity expression we have already derived okay and its value is half okay cv electronic okay v bar and lambda f okay this we have derived last time now here now we know that only the electron which are near the fermi level okay now because we know lambda is what lambda is your v upon tau and we are saying only the uh, electron which are near fermi level they are they are, they are only contributing okay so i can write this as this one so similarly here i can also put vf and if i solve my thermal conductivity okay this comes out 1 by 3 cv electronic okay now here we are taking average okay we are taking average uh, average free velocity okay and the actual okay, correct expression okay in the correct expression okay instead of taking this average okay i need to take this vf square okay average of vf square because if i now put the value of lambda this become vf square okay i have n and i can write my tau f okay and cv electronics cv electron we have derived was pi square by 2 okay what was the value pi square by 2 nkb nkb t upon tf okay. this was the uh, value uh, uh, we are uh, specific heat values okay and this is for n electron okay here this is already multiplied by flux so we don't need the uh, n n electron we only need the specific heat of one electron okay so i can write now this is my value is pi square by 2 kb p upon tf okay specific heat of one electron specific heat of 
one electron okay now you can okay you can put the values this values here so you can get the value as 1 by 3 okay pi square by 2 kb okay kb t upon tf and this vf okay we know this vf square is the value is what 2 kbt upon m okay so this uh, VF, vf value okay so this will be this will be square taking a square so this will come as uh, 2 kbt upon m so you can put this value here 2 kbt upon m okay and we have n and we have tau f okay so now this is my expression for thermal conductivity okay uh, let me solve it further okay so here i can write 2 to cancel okay so k will become pi square by 3 okay and here because i'm taking uh, temperature also tf so you can put here temperature tf okay so tf tf will cancel and now uh, what i have i have pi square by 3 kb square okay kb square and then we have a t i have a n and i have a tau f okay so this is my expression for now your uh, thermal conductivity okay and I know MBI. MBI again, it's very good. Okay. MBI. So M and now we know the sigma. Sigma is what? N e square tau f upon M. Okay. And just divide these values. So if I divide this, okay, k upon sigma. So t can come down okay because this n will cancel tau can cancel m will cancel so what i left i left with pi square by 3 okay kb upon e square okay and this is my lorange number and this is also called Widman french coefficient and if you solve this one okay this values comes out to power minus 8 watt okay ohm and kelvin square what are the unit okay the so unit was kelvin inverse sir number k 245 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. okay so earlier what we are getting we are getting 1.11 okay I told you this is uh, not exact value. It should, exact value should be some, somewhere two to three times of this one. Okay. And this is well agreement in experimental value. Okay. Well agreement. And we can check this one also. Well agreement with experimental results. Okay. So. Now let us solve one problem, okay? And where we can check just these are the correct expressions, okay? Now the thermal conductivity of copper, okay? Thermal conductivity of copper, okay? Thermal conductivity, okay? of copper okay okay at 300 kelvin okay we i have already given these values earlier also okay this is 376 okay thermal conductivity k for copper 376 omega square okay meter square k k kelvin here okay and the tau values for given 2.3 collision frequency is given 10 to about 2 14 seconds 
okay it is always the order of tenus power 14 seconds and the density density is 8.38 into tenus to power minus 28 per meter cube okay charge density and And if I take the mass of atomic mass of copper, okay, that is equal to 63.57 electron charge, you already know 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19. Okay. So now you can calculate the Wigman Wigman French coefficient. 63.57 kg me. Atomic atomic number kaisa hota hai? Atomic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 8.38 into 10 to the power minus 28 minus 28 okay number density per, per, per meter cube per meter cube okay. concentration to per meter cube hota na? this sample may kitne electrons hai? one the what is the concentration of electron charge density number density of electron okay so that is you are given here okay so now you can calculate okay I'm not calculating and you calculate and you find out the bridge fan coefficient. Okay, this is a homework and you can check how much the value is coming for this uh, coefficient. Okay, so this is your homework. Okay. So I'm, I'm erasing this one. Okay. Now you know I have given the all data to you. Okay, you can calculate electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity. Okay, easily with these data, and you can find out what is the uh, coefficient. Okay, now one more topic was remaining. Okay, this was Matheson rule. Okay, Matheson Matheson rule. Okay. So Matheson rule says, okay, so we have seen yesterday the resistivity is due to the lattice vibration. Okay. So now Matheson, according to Matheson rule, the resistivity has two component. Okay. One is due to uh, uh, lattice vibration and other is due to impurity. Okay. So resistivity has two parts. Okay. So that's why when we plot this graph or resistivity versus temperature graph, okay, this always start from the here okay they start from the here and then they become constant okay and already we have seen that this row okay this row is proportional to t5 at low temperature using block theory and this is your row is proportional to t so this is okay this is called a residue residual resistivity okay so from here to here Okay, this is your residual, residual resistivity. Okay. And this resistivity is generally, generally, okay, generally is independent, okay, independent of temperature, okay, in temperature, okay, for low concentration low concentration of impurities okay for low concentration low concentration of impurities okay so if the concentration is low enough you are so, and 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 we are taking if temperature is very high okay then there may be uh, your impurities and defects get mod modified okay but uh, in general, this is independent temperature. Okay, and this part is dependent on temperature. So this is your Matheson rule. Okay, and similarly, you can you can uh, now write the equation for tau like this. So tau is due to lattice vibration, and tau is due to uh, for impurities. Okay, now uh, lattice vibr vibration also presenting a scattering cross section. Okay. Similarly, you are uh, this these impurity. Okay, they have also uh, scattering cross sections. Okay. Okay. Just give me one minute now. This is...
ओके सो नाउ लास्ट द लास्ट टॉपिक विच इज रिमेनिंग आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी विल डिस्कस द ऑप्टिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स ओके सो ऑप्टिकल प्रॉपर्टीज का मतलब क्या पे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट यू नो द मेटल्स मेटल्स आर mainly what it it reflects light okay they are mainly ref reflectors okay and uh, so so if we are, if we shine light okay on a solid okay <coughs> in solid if we shine the light so what will happen if we shine the light so li light also electric field okay so because of this electric this, this this is a alternative electric field ac electric field time dependent electric field and because of this elect uh, electron okay so when we place uh, uh, the effect of electric field time dependent electric field time dependent electric field on electrons okay so when then then we can we can find out the condition okay so which frequencies uh, will be reflected and and the solid and which frequency will be solid will be transparent for frequency so we can define uh, get a frequency range okay so that's only i'm going to do here so generally it is uh, plasma frequency okay for metals okay which depends on concentration of electron if your frequency is less than plasma frequency then metals behave like a uh, your perfect reflector okay is reflect lights and if the frequency is above your plasma frequency then metal can it will be very high frequency metal can also uh, transmit okay we can behave like a transparent material solid okay so put the heading now optical properties of solid optical plasma plasma abhi ab bata raha hu na optical properties of solid okay optical properties of solid okay so put the heading first ac conductivity plasma frequency just like a, it is a defining range you know like we, we and when we done on the solids thermal property then we have defined einstein temperature okay and de by temperature so which temperature is lower that is defined or higher that range is defined by and de by de by temperature no? if some something is very high in dependent temperature we say high temperature similarly frequency plasma frequency also has a, a limiting a limiting uh, range okay so now suppose now we know the light light is electromagnetic wave okay and if you see the electric field of light okay can be written as e0 minus omega t okay now if i place my material uh, shine this electric field on my solid okay so my electron will be under this electric field so i can write this is my equation of motion uh, like we had on uh, so electron will uh, under the electric field and it's, it will collide okay so under the collusion we know the we can write that my equation of motion of electron okay equation of motion for electron okay and so this is m is uh, now these are all temperature dependent so i can write this is as a dpt D, dp is a momentum okay and this also i can write Minus p tau, okay. Minus e e. This equation. Now I need to solve this equation, okay. So if I try the solution of kind p equals to p zero e power minus i tau omega omega t, okay. Solution, okay. So just put these values and let me know what is coming. so if i put these values here okay here so i know dp by dt okay what will come this is to dp by dt what will come it is come p0 okay e power minus i tau omega t and you get minus i tau omega again so this is minus i tau omega okay and this is again p okay so you can write if you solve this equation okay so 
if I put these values and, and solve this one, okay. So this will come out as minus iota omega p naught, okay, minus p naught tau and minus, okay, minus e p naught, okay. Sir, third term me e raised to i omega tb hmm? Fourth term me e raised to i omega tb aayega na? Oh, okay. Okay. to Okay. 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 Okay, minus iota omega. I'm I'm divide control is e power minus iota omega t. Say. So if you divide this one, you will be having left with this this things. Okay. Now what it's I get electric field wali term hai. Huh. Exponential ka factor. Oh do I divide kar jana? E power minus omega t se divide kar diya. E e naught e power minus iota. Tabi to yahan p naught baj gaya. Acha acha e naught. Huh. Yapa Yapa P equals two P naught E E power minus omega T was upset divide Okay. Okay. Now now I want to uh, calculate the current. Okay. And you know the electron current is what? N V. Okay. And since I'm using here momentum, so let me write this is uh, in this way. Okay. So this is my momentum equation. Okay. So in order to calculate momentum, okay. First, I need to calculate. So this is what this is become minus n e m okay minus omega t okay and p naught key value of nikalo. So this will give me p naught value. So I'm directly writing okay. So minus e e naught tau okay upon one minus iota omega tau. You can take this one as a okay. yes, sir. So you take P naught common, okay, and then let's it's all little bit thing, okay. You can get P naught equal to hmm, okay. now write the, again the current density, okay. So current density, if you put this value, uh, P naught value here, so minus minus become plus. So what I'll get, I'll get n e square, n e square tau upon m. Okay, any square tau upon m. Okay, and this again I will get what i i equals to one minus iota omega tau. Check it. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, j is equal to p naught into exponential e raised to minus i. है ना वहाँ imaginary भी है ना तब. हाँ तो ये है ना तो इसको इसको मैंने e e naught जो e naught आ रहा है यहाँ से उसको multiply करके e लिख सकता हूँ ना वापस हाँ वो ठीक है लेकिन यहाँ imaginary component है ना कहाँ पे नीचे p naught नहीं j is equal to second जो step है j is equal to minus ne upon m p naught हाँ p p p है p naught नहीं है p है हाँ तो ये तो यहाँ ये ये वाला ये वाला factor है ठीक है वहाँ e is to minus i है ना हाँ है ना वो 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 वही तो minus जब p naught निकालेंगे हम यहाँ से okay p naught की value जब put करेंगे इस expression में तो वो जो e not ये वाला e not ये mix होके e बन जाएगा again okay so this is my expression for now this one okay now if I compare this expression okay j say function of frequency okay by sigma frequency frequency okay electric field which is also frequency so from here I can get okay if I compare this one okay so what I can get my sigma is what my sigma is conductivity is what any e square tau okay upon m okay and this one minus iota omega tau okay okay and now if I can write this as a 
this is my this is a well known expression okay i am writing this sigma not 1 minus iota omega tau okay and where my sigma not is what sigma not is n square tau upon m and this is what this is what my dc conductivity dc electric electric conductivity or static static electrical conductivity okay this expression is static electrical conductivity okay now this expression okay what we are written okay this is ac conductivity okay this is the expression for ac conductivity okay now if i try a little bit uh, to solve if i want to make uh, imaginary real part uh, separated so i can do this one iota omega tau okay multiply by iota omega tau divided by 1 plus iota omega tau okay and if you do this little bit calculation okay so what you can get you can get sigma not is equal to 1 upon tau omega square tau square plus iota omega tau plus 1 plus omega square tau square okay check it whether this relation is correct or not okay so that means now second term may uh, go zero aayega uh, uh, sigma, sigma zero aayega sigma second zero term. second term mein sigma zero aayega ki nahi aayega aayega sir sigma zero omega hmm second term uh, imaginary hai baki log just check it aayega kya okay aayega to main dekhta hu okay so now सिग्मा ओके so i have sigma not okay 1 plus iota omega tau okay and this become what 1 plus minus minus so 1 plus omega square tau tau square okay <coughs> now if i write this sigma okay this becomes sigma not 1 plus omega square tau square plus iota omega tau sigma not 1 plus ab theek hai Yes, and this is your called. This is called your uh, say. This is uh, complex quantity. Okay, say this is this sigma one. Okay, and this is you call sigma two. You want to double dash. Okay, so this part. Okay, this sigma dash. Okay, is due to due to resistive resistive current. Okay, this due to in phase. Due to in phase. रेजिस्टिव करंट ओके नॉर्मल हमारा होता है ओके करंट यू अप्लाई करंट एंड यू गेट व्हाट यू गेट रेजिस्टिविटी हीटिंग जूल जूल इफेक्ट हीटिंग इट हैपेंस ओके एंड दिस पार्ट दिस सिग्मा टू ओके इज ड्यू टू ड्यू टू ओके आउट ऑफ फेस आउट ऑफ फेस Out of phase, okay, by pi by two inductive currents, okay. So this is what this is what from inductive current, okay. Now here from here you cannot tell clearly, okay, that what's happening, okay. You can only uh, <coughs> check, okay, if this uh, omega tau, okay, is less than less than one. okay so i can neglect this part okay so this omega tau is less than less than 1 okay omega tau is less than less than 1 then what will happen i can neglect this part from 1 okay 
so what i let here i will let sigma sigma not and here i will be left with iota omega tau sigma not okay now this expression we know this tau is tends to power minus 4 so this expression become negligible when omega tau is less than less than in that case your sigma and dash is greater than greater than sigma tau okay so for low frequency you got for low frequency you get only resistive current okay you, uh, that is obvious na no? when your frequency low you are applying dc current then you get uh, dc conductivity similarly if now if omega tau is greater than greater than 1 then then you can you can neglect this part okay one you can neglect one from here so here you can neglect one so this will be 1 by omega tau and this will be omega square tau square okay in that case your sigma should should that should be greater than sigma okay and you should get your inductive currents okay inductive currents so that Are means isko 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 rakh do ha isko kar do so inductive current kya hota hai okay jaise maine ek baar pehle aapko bataya nahi hota jab bhi aap metal lete ho theek hai na to जब भी आप उस पर हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी लगाते हो मेटल पे ओके भी आपका रेजिस्टेंस और इंडक्टर में फर्क क्या है मैं मेरे पास रेजिस्टेंस है मेटल कंडक्टर मेटल है और एक इंडक्टर है दोनों तो दोनों ही तो मेटल ही होता है ना बहुत सारे क्वेल्स ओके बट 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 वी से समाइम वी से इज ए इंडक्टर समटाइम इट वी से इट इज रजिस्टेंस तो वो कैसे पता चलता है कि रजिस्टर है कि uh, इंडक्टर है तो जब डीसी लगाते हैं तो वो रजिस्टर शो करता है रजिस्ट्री पार्ट शो करता है ठीक है वही वही कॉयल है वो वो रजिस्ट्री पार्ट शो करता है सर्किट में और वही कॉयल जब है आपका एसी लगाते हो तो वो रजिस्टर वो रजिस्ट्री पार्ट शो नहीं करता है वो क्या शो करता है आपका इंडक्टिव इंडक्टिव पार्ट शो करता है वो लाइक वो दैट इज बेव लाइक ए इंडक्टर ओके दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इयर ओके हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी यूर मेटल बेव लाइक ए इंडक्टर इट शो मोर इंडक्टर इफेक्ट एंड लो फ्रिक्वेंसी इट शोज रजिस्टर इफेक्ट यूर सॉलिड ओके that is the uh, meaning here okay so now here from we cannot tell you know, clearly okay that why <coughs> my uh, what is the range if we can tell clearly here that if we if we is behaving like conductor so obviously it is not observing observing any any heat okay it's not uh, absorbing any, any any heat okay so that is means it is behaving like a reflector of high conductivity okay and if it is a low frequency it will absorb the light so <coughs> so it will uh, it will be it will show joule joule effect joule heating okay but here we cannot tell uh, clearly so we have the expression now for conductivity okay now we need to calculate the dielectric constant okay because okay. your dielectric constant is basically basically depends on your uh, refractive index and your extinction coefficient okay ki kitna light absorb hoga kitna reflect hoga that depends on mainly dielectric constant of the material and dielectric constant itself depends on conductivity so now we have the expression for conductivity now we are going for the dielectric constant okay once we know the dielectric constant okay then we can define the limits when your solid will be an absorber or when it will become reflector okay so now put the uh, uh, heading okay ac dielectric constant okay ac dielectric constant okay ac dielectric constant or dielectric constant material is the dielectric okay now for this what i'm doing i am using this maxwell equations okay so i know the maxwell equation uh, del e 0 del b equals to 0 okay del cross e plus to minus del b upon del t and del cross v okay is equals to mu 0 j plus mu 0 e not del e upon del t okay isn't it now we have this expression okay and now we have electric field also okay electric field okay so i am writing now electric field as a function of xt okay xt and e power minus iota omega okay so let it be t part is there so this is only x part okay 
I'm writing now. Let's see if you like this. You have done Maxwell equations. Okay. Now put these values here. Okay. Now we have this electric field, and now I am taking the curl of this equation, del cross del cross v. Okay. And we have del v upon del t. So I can write del upon del t. Okay. Into what I can write here. I can write del cross b. And del cross b value already higher here, so that I can put here. <coughs> so if I put these values here, okay. So we put these values here, okay. This will become as del upon del t, okay. Mu zero, j, okay, plus mu naught, t naught, del t upon del t. Now just simplify this equation. Ah, yeah. huh. sir, yeah, del cross e over here. Okay? Cons. Ah, sir, left side. Left side. Let's let's let cross. Left. 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 This one. This one. Okay. That is B. Yes. Ah, huh. we have to apply one third equation. Okay. So we apply this equation del cross e. Okay. Now just solve this one. Okay. Put the electric field values and solve this one. Okay, and let me know what is the expression is coming. I am directly writing this expression. Okay, so that that is square e. Okay, this is iota omega mu naught sigma e, and then it should come omega square mu naught e naught e. Okay, check it. This coming or not? J की वैल्यू भी सब्सटिट्यूट कर रहे हैं सर हम लोग हम्म J की वैल्यू निकाली क्या हमने अभी तक निकाली थी ना यस सो इफ यू पुट डेली वैल्यू आह यस J इज़ द करंट डेंसिटी एंड J J J यू पुट सिग्मा ही ओके J यू पुट सिग्मा ही J इक्वल टू सिग्मा ही And repeat, know whether it's coming or not coming. And you also know that mu naught e naught is equal to what? One by c square. Just differentiate this equation. This will become this becomes zero. Now one time becomes zero. Okay, so del square key next time becomes zero. So only we left this one. Okay, so this we have this one. Okay, now here we have a, a j equal to sigma e. Okay, and sigma e if we differentiate again, we we'll again get get sigma only e power due to i power minus t. We get i i i term we got here. Okay, minus this become here coming plus, and then you have this one mu zero mu zero e zero. Del e upon del t, okay. So that that you can check whether it is coming or not coming. Okay. So that you can this is homework, okay. If you are not able to do this one, because this I am not in mood of doing calculations, okay. Yes. Yeah. The bully. last time it was minus R R sir. कहाँ पे यहाँ पे? हाँ. Okay. बाकी ठीक है? Yes sir. Okay. So now just I'm writing this equation. Okay, I'm not getting minus here. Okay, so del square e, okay, plus if I take omega square c square common, okay, I'm getting this one plus sigma iota sigma iota sigma open okay omega e naught okay e tends to zero, and I'm directly writing now this del square e, okay. And this is my omega square c square, and this term, this time I'm writing as a dielectric constant. Okay, this is on permittivity medium E W E. Second term भी negative आ रहा है. हाँ. Second term भी negative आ रहा है. तो ये यहाँ से ये minus नहीं use कर रहे हो तुम लोग? हाँ कर रहे हैं लेकिन minus है omega का minus दोनों minus minus plus हो जा रहे हैं. 
ओके मेरा भी तो प्लस ही आ रहा है इधर यहां आके तो प्लस ही आना चाहिए ओके नहीं नहीं वो भी वो जो है ना वो नेगेटिव ही आ रहा है ये सेकंड टर्म भी मेरा नेगेटिव आ रहा है ओके ये तो चेक करो इसको अभी मैं ठीक है मैं इस पे नहीं जा रहा हूं अभी ठीक है मुझे खाली वो फाइनल फिजिक्स बताना है ठीक है कैलकुलेशन चेक करो आपका ये ये फाइनल ही आना चाहिए इक्वेशन फाइनल ही आना चाहिए ऐसे आप कर चुके हो पहले ये एमटी मल्टी ओके सो आई एम नॉट सॉल्विंग दिस ईयर नो This this just just write this final expression, okay? Only final expression is important. Just write this final expression. Please Now I'm defining this E W, okay? So E W as one plus iota sigma, okay, upon omega e naught. Then sir. Okay. Now you can put the values of here yes, sigma values, okay. So if you put the sigma values here, so I can get e omega equals to one plus iota. Okay, iota we know n e square tau upon m. Okay, we have omega e dot, and we know this is minus one minus. Okay, iota omega tau. If I put the conductivity values and Just simplify this one more. Okay, now I have this one is equal to one upon one plus. Okay, iota n square tau by m. Okay, and if I put this e not also here, if I n square tau. Okay, m and this e not if I put here. Okay, and I just write here one minus iota omega tau. Okay, and then what I can do. I can just take uh, this iota also there, na. No? So if I take iota omega common, okay, iota omega square. So here omega omega not also there, na. No? So you have to multiply this one. So so if I if I write for finally, okay. So if I take the common, what I'm getting, I'm getting this. Omega square minus one minus iota omega tau. Okay, this expression I want. Okay, and this becomes one plus. Okay, now iota iota also should be cancelled. Iota also should be cancelled. If I take this common, okay, so one minus one upon iota omega. So I am writing the final expression what I want. E omega, okay. E omega, I want one minus V P square upon omega square, okay. If I put, if I, if I put that this V tau is greater than greater than one, okay. If I apply this limit V, then I can neglect this part. If this part is greater than greater than one, okay. Then compared to this one, I want to neglect. And I finally I should get these things, okay? Where my VP is the plasma frequency, okay? And its value is given by under root n e square tau, okay? Upon m e naught, okay? This is this is important things which I am discuss, okay? So this expression, okay? This VP square upon omega square. Now here we can find, okay? What is going to happen here? So, and now I have the expression for dielectric constant, and you know that dielectric refractive index, okay, is approximately this is the permittivity, okay, is half of this one, okay. So and I can this can also I can write n plus iota k, where n is the refractive index, okay. So n is what refractive index, refractive index. Refractive index and k is your extinction coefficient. K is your extinction, extinction 
coefficient okay दिस इज फॉर होमवर्क है यहां से आप सॉल्व करके आप बताना मुझे होमवर्क ओके नहीं तो कल मैं कराऊंगा सो दिस इज योर एक्सटेंशन कोफिशिएंट ओके एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस पैरामीटर आई कैन डिफाइन माय ऑब्जर्वेशंस एंड रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द मटेरियल और ऑब्जेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शंस ओके कोई मटेरियल कितना ऑब्जर्व करेगा या रिफ्लेक्ट करेगा दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन दिस वैल्यूज एंड एन एंड के रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड एक्सटेंशन कोफिशिएंट उंड्रीन योर concentration of charge carriers okay so this quantity is called your because this has a frequency uh, unit of frequency so this is called your plasma frequency okay plasma frequency means nothing it is a frequency by which your uh, electron <laughs> electron <laughs> frequency you apply ac electric field na so when you apply ac electric field your the electron motion will be also oscillating na if if you are applying this one light on metal now metal has a sea of electrons now this electron <coughs> this this electron is like a plasma okay so we, we, so when you apply electric field okay this this elect this electron also oscillate with the frequency of the electric field okay those frequencies okay so here we are defining this uh, uh, plasma frequency now if i if i write now just you remember the coefficient of uh, this, uh, how do i dielectric constant okay dielectric constant uh, now if i want the reflection okay so reflection is given by n minus square plus k square okay n plus 1 and this is the refractive index n plus 1 whole square and this is your k square and similarly this k this k kappa type k okay this is value is given by d omega okay <coughs> do make uh, this this alpha absorptions okay so absorptions this is reflection and the alpha is absorption coefficient and this value is given by this values okay now i have my e omega which i return e minus 1 minus omega upon omega p or omega p upon omega okay so i have written this one omega p square upon sir yahan k matlab अलग है कुछ कौन सा के ये वाला ये सेम के ये सेम के है जो लाइट आओगे उसमें से कितनी लाइट गायब हो जाएगी कितनी अफजा हो जाएगी ओके के एक्सटेंशन कॉफिशियंट एंड आर इज रिफ्लेक्शन कॉफिशियंट ओके नाउ माय दिस इज E E W is one minus omega p. Okay. Now, if suppose my omega is less than omega p. Okay. If my omega is less than omega p, then what will happen? Then dielectric constant will be positive or negative. So, when mm. alpha equals to two omega by uh, e e k, na? Konsa? Sir, ye jo alpha likha hai, jo apne two two omega by c. C. Okay. Okay. Now, if my omega, the frequency is okay, my frequency is less than. If omega p is greater than greater than omega, then what will happen? If omega negative. p is negative, so then dielectric constant become negative. Okay, so negative. Okay, and once dielectric constant is negative, okay, so this quantity become what? Refractive index. Okay, refractive index become complex quantity. That means this n becomes zero. Okay, this set this should I write like this? Okay, because it's a difference. Okay, so this is the refractive index. So. Yes, theta. Hmm. Yeah, n is theta. Which one? Refractive index. N, 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 n. Okay, n, n, n. Okay. So when this become okay, uh, refractive index. Okay, then because this reality constant is negative, so this become complex quantity. That means now n zero. That means your n becomes zero. Okay, and once your n becomes zero. 
your r become what if you put n is equals to 0 here okay you get r equals to 1 okay so that means below plasma frequencies your frequency is below plasma frequency your solid behave like a reflector okay r r means means it is behave like a reflector so in this range your solid behave like a reflector reflection okay they reflect reflects light okay in this frequency similarly now if you write your this omega is greater than omega p okay then what will become if you write this one okay in that case this e become e become positive positive and real okay so e is become positive okay so e is positive that means now what will become e positive hai to kya ho jayega aapki refractive index become positive okay and now if er is er is positive okay for real values then this k becomes zero okay so if you put k equals to zero okay to kya ho jayega aapka alpha alpha zero ho jayega okay so alpha zero ho jayega matlab kya ho jayega ki लॉस जीरो हो गया अल्फा क्या है अल्फा शोज द लॉस ओके सो व्हेन दिस जीरो ओके देन व्हाट हैपेंस योर अल्फा बिकम्स जीरो एंड अल्फा जीरो मींस नाउ लॉस इज जीरो ओके व्हेन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हेन लाइट इज शाइनिंग ऑन सॉलिड दैट टाइम लॉस इज जीरो लॉस जीरो मतलब क्या हो रहा है द के ई इज इज योर पॉजिटिव ओके रियल सो दैट मींस नाउ योर वेव विल नॉट वेव विल वेव विल नॉट डिके your uh, wave will go inside the material okay and wave will go inside the material plus uh, with no loss that means your solid metal behave like a transparent metals so at high frequencies greater than omega p metals behave okay like transparent very very high frequencies transparent bas aapko ye jo final expression hai free electron theory ye aapko batana hai कि मेटल रिफ्लेक्ट मेटल मेनली जनरली तो रिफ्लेक्टर ही है ओके दैट इज बिलो प्लाज्मा फ्रीक्वेंसी तो ईच मेटल हैज इज ओन प्लाज्मा फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन मेनली ऑन इज कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर्स ओके एंड दिस बीपी कैन डिफाइन व्हिच लाइट विल बी अब्जॉर्ब एंड व्हेन योर मेटल विल बिकम ट्रांसपेरेंट ओके सो दैट इज ओनली द थिंग व्हिच आई व्हिच वर लेफ्ट and this will you this will you uh, discuss in detail okay in emt also and when you optics and an emt will be discussed so here i don't want to do uh, more uh, this uh, critical uh, derivations okay i was simply way i just want to show you okay that what is your uh, optical property using free electron theory okay so any question Let me check some problems are there or not. Sir, मतलब इस derivation के बाद सिर्फ final step याद रखना है. इस derivation का खाली final step याद रखना है. ठीक है. Okay. इस derivation खाली final step याद रखना है. एक बार calculation तो आप ये same calculation तो आप EMT में करते ही हो, बार-बार करते ही हो. Okay. Calculation कर 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 लेना एक बार. एक बार तो करना ही चाहिए life में. Okay. एक बार तो calculation करना ही चाहिए. Once in lifetime. उसके बाद में mainly तो बाद में तो खाली आपको mainly result याद रखने होते हैं. Okay. Now, just I'm giving one homework. You need to solve this for me. Okay, you have to send me the homework. One homework to pehle diya tha maine. Whitman coefficient wala. And this one problem I'm giving more. And here only you just remember these formulas. You remember R alpha. Okay, this because this is you are going to use uh, later also <coughs> if you're doing going for research. Okay, so these expression you will require again and again. and then final expression of electron uh, this and uh, frequency okay so i am giving a problem okay homework hai okay so sodium metal okay we have a sodium sodium metal okay which has a bcc structure this okay. bcc structure and you know bcc structure means your n effective is what n effective is 
okay and the radius of so radius of sodium i'm giving you radius of sodium i'm giving you 1.85 angstrom okay now calculate the electrical resistivity okay at t is equal to 0 centigrade okay calculate the electric electric resistivity you need to calculate the electric resistivity at 0 degree centigrade okay for that you have you have been given mean free time mean free uh, mean free collision period mean free time is given you 3 into 10 to power minus 14 14 seconds okay so these values are given to you and you need to find out the resistivity of the metal okay bejo solve karke bejo mujhe okay so i am stopping here now okay क्वेश्चन क्लियर है आपको बीसीसी मेटल दे रखा है ठीक है रेडियस दे रखा है आपको और क्या चाहिए आपको करने के लिए एन फैक्ट दे रखा है रेडियस रेडियस दे रखा है अब आपको निकालना है रेजिस्टिविटी एंड रेजिस्टिविटी निकालने के लिए आपको मेनली तो कैरियर कंसंट्रेशन चाहिए तो वो कैरियर कंसंट्रेशन कैसे निकालोगे वो बताओ मुझे ओके सो आई एम स्टॉपिंग हियर ये तो कल करेंगे इसको एनी वन एनी वन एनी आइडिया को बता सकता है कैसे करेंगे क्वेश्चन को सर पहले हम इसका वो निकाल कैरे कंसंट्रेशन एन इफेक्टिव बाय वॉल्यूम से एन एन इफेक्टिव कैरे कंसंट्रेशन थोड़ी ना है वो तो एन एन सर कैरे कंसंट्रेशन निकालेंगे एन इफेक्टिव हां हां बे वेरी गुड वेरी गुड हां कैरे कंसंट्रेशन निकालोगे फिर राइट स्टोरी निकाल बाद रोक फोर ओके फार्मूला बिल्कुल वेरी गुड बेस्ड ऑन प्लीज थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर हम्म